In this video, we compare the LZ1 AQ Active Antenna Amplifier Ham Kit with a Wellbrook 1530AN. Okay, so here we have a setup to do a comparison between two antennas. So this one here is a one meter diameter loop. It's made out of uh, uh, copper microbore piping, uh, one meter diameter connected to the LZ1AQ amplifier. Uh, this is set up to be in a mode, uh, there are several modes for this amplifier, one loop, two loops, uh, conventional electric field aerial with magnetic field aerial. This is just set up to be a, the simplest mode for a, a single loop, single magnetic loop. And this is mounted at approximately two and a half meters to the top of the antenna, probably about two meters to, well, two meters to the center of the antenna. And on this side, using a very similar setup, we have a one meter loop uh, for the Wellbrook ALA 1530. Again, a one meter antenna. This is uh, the stock uh, one meter aluminium uh, tubing that comes with the antenna itself with the masthead amplifier here. Again, set up to be about two meters in height. And the idea is we'll do a direct comparison, apples for apples, between the Wellbrook and the LZ1AQ. Okay, and so here we have the setup using the SGR Uno for the LZ1AQ and the Wellbrook uh, ALA 1530 uh, antennas. Uh, at the moment, uh, we're looking at the uh, long wave band uh, just because the, 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 the uh, lower the frequency often gives more challenging performance for uh, magnetic loops. The reason being that the, uh, the output voltage from the loop is proportional to frequency Therefore, the lower frequencies, you'll have less uh, signal, less atmospheric noise, and therefore the noise performance of the amplifiers is proportionately more significant. Um, and you can see here that really the performance between the two, uh, am the two amplifier loop setups is very similar. On the top, we have the LZ1AQ, uh, tuning into the Droitwich transmitter on 198 kilohertz, which is a very large signal. We're getting about 55, over 50 dBs of signal to noise. It varies a little bit. On the bottom, we have the uh, the Wellbrook loop, again giving around the 50 dBs of noise. It varies a bit. Which is the better one? Well, it's very hard to tell. Looking at these two uh, uh, spectrum plots, you would really have to conclude that uh, the performance of both of them is very similar, and therefore maybe part of the differentiating factor comes down to price between them. Okay, we've now uh, I'm still looking at the LZ1AQ and the Wellbrook loops, but move to a much weaker signal. So this is now the 243 kilohertz. This is a signal from Denmark, transmitted at 50 kilowatts. And you can now see that for the LZ1AQ, we're seeing it varies a lot, but anywhere between about 8 and 15 uh, dBs for the signal to noise ratio. Uh, the Wellbrook, again, is about the same. Uh, sometimes one better than the other, but there really isn't very much in it. Uh, the audio quality, I won't do a comparison on the video because uh, you, you, there's so much degradation, but they, they appear to be very similar. It's very hard to choose one over the other based on the performance at this frequency. So one thing you can probably tell from this is that the, the noise of the two amplifiers is probably quite comparable because at these frequencies, the both the signal and the atmospheric noise will be uh, uh, as, as low as it will be um, for, for this type of antenna and therefore it, it is the performance of the amplifier which will be uh, a considerable factor in terms of the overall uh, audio and uh, signal to noise performance. So now we're still looking at the LZ1AQ and the Wellbrook uh, LA1530 loops and we can see here that now this is looking at the 22 meter band at 13.84 uh, kilohertz and uh, you can see now that the uh, the performance is again very similar between the two we, on the top panel here we have the uh, the LZ1AQ loop on the bottom the Wellbrook loop which is the best it, it really does I think comes down to a very subjective opinion uh, picking this particular signal Again, the, the signal to noise ratio around, it varies from about 9 dBs, sometimes getting up to as high as 20, 
and it's the same is the case uh, for the uh, the Weldbrook loop on the bottom. Uh, just just looking at the two, you might say, well, just looking at the clarity and the brightness of the uh, of, of the waterfall trace, which is the the calibration for them is the same for for both loops. Maybe the LZ one AQ is slightly better, but I. Th I, I think it's very difficult to uh, justify that as, a, as a, a, a benefit. It really comes down to this particular day with the loop and the location that it is. There really isn't much difference between them. So watch out for more uh, videos reviewing popular antenna designs. And uh, there'll be links to these from our antenna suggestions page as part of the miscellaneous section on the website www.sdrplay.com and if you have suggestions for antennas you think we should be looking at please let us know uh, by contacting us via feedback at sdrplay.com